it's so painful you have the words in your brain but, but, but your mouth cannot utter them I, 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 I would love people to listen to us people who stammer not only deal with managing involuntary speech disruptions that can make speech physically and mentally exhausting no. are, 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 are are recognizing other disabilities they also frequently experience negative social stigma that can make communication even more challenging in order to enhance the physiological well-being and increase their participation and inclusion it is critical that people have knowledge of public stigma and it's relevant to stammering <laughs> This is the story of the Stammering Society of Kenya who are doing everything possible to ensure they break the stigma associated with stammering. I've been a stammerer for since birth. I was born like that. And uh, I came to realize it when I was five years old. I realized that I'm talking a bit different from my friends because in every sentence, stammer, I get the the blockage, then the prolongation of words in every sentence. I call card some some some, some syllables for easy pronunciation. Ama nini nige gonga chini mugu tamkono niki niki jaribu kuongea. False assumptions and negative stereotypes about stammering still persist. This means, if left unchecked, can lead to prejudice and discrimination of stammerers from the public and can influence how stammerers view themselves. <laughs> this is one of the reasons that made Dominic Kiplimo with a stammerer begin championing for the rights of stammerers in Kenya by founding the Stammerer Society of Kenya, since he believes they are underrepresented and do not enjoy the benefits of persons living with disability. The Stammering Society of Kenya, Kenyan Mimic de Delegate, a graduate of BSc Environmental Science. Dominic Kiplimo is commonly known as Kiplish, learned he was a stammerer at the age of three. He prolonged some words and repeated sounds as he struggled to form words. His friends laughed at him and made fun of how he spoke. In, in, in our class, so, 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 all of us, we care to stand up. So, 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 because ninge jibu now the, 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 the other people could like, laugh at me don't get me bully yeah yeah sasa poro ni fit a challenge nikajua mimi naongea tofauti sana na wengine the disability is it is the inability to, to see the ability you know sometimes mimi Kuauliza, can you mock an albinism? Is no. Can you mock a blind person? It, it's no. Why always us? You know, to, to me, sometimes we are not stammering as a stylistic speech divisor because it teaches the, the, the world to be patient and let us love each other because stammering in the Kushika at any age. The main objective of the, the, the stammering society of Kenya is to defend and advocate for, for the rights of people who stammer. Stammering is a neurodevelopmental disorder affecting communication in about 1% of the world population. The disorder manifests as repetitions, prolongations and blocks which may be accompanied by secondary behaviors such as blinking and head jacking. Symptoms typically appear in early childhood and about 30% of affected children stammer into adulthood. I accepted myself when I was uh, 19 years old actually, 19 years old. And at that time, because I was in class eight, and uh, I, 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 I knew that 
uh, see, people are, will uh, start expecting more out of me. And when I, when I don't do something good, if, if I don't express myself on the things that I want, then it will become more difficult when the society and the whole world in are 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 recognizing other disabilities in the society we also want to be listened kevin busuru a university student caught our attention since he's not a stammerer himself but chose to volunteer in the stammering society of kenya Kevin says the society needs to embrace stammering as a disability and stammerers given the enough support they need. These people take a lot of time to communicate and express themselves out. Assuming you, have, uh, you are a stammerer and you have an airtime of 20 shillings, then you want to call someone and tell him you have an emergency, then you're stammering. I'm telling you that airtime will lapse before you even say, I have a problem because unaza habari yako tambu uende before you go and you finish what you want to say the atom is lapsed there is no instant cure for stuttering however certain situations that are stress fatigue or pressure can make stuttering worse by managing these situations as far as possible people may be able to improve their flow of speech there is however hope in the daily battle with speech Meet Pastor Elijah Okunyani, a pastor who was once a stammerer and overcame it. He shares with us his journey, which has been an uphill task. I was born a stammerer. I was born a stammerer. And uh, realizing it came a bit later because I didn't know while I was a kid. But growing at an age of six, seven, now when you talk and you see people laughing, you start sensing there is something wrong with you and you start asking yourself what is wrong. And then after a period you now understand that people are talking fluently, you are like talking one word, the other one is not coming and you have to maybe take a longer period to explain yourself. Now I started to know that there's a problem with my speech. I, I, have, I, I started training myself on how to manage uh, my speech and, and the challenge I got is that when I speak Swahili, it is the worst. But when I started speaking English, it was much easy to speak fluently more than Swahili. And that's why you see, <laughs> I'm trying to avoid Swahili at most. I'm just speaking English because it's very simple to speak English than Swahili. That's how I tried managing it. It is a daily battle with speech for the Stammering Society, who say a lot more has to be done with regard to the disorder, including creating awareness about the help available. Be patient to the people who stammers. Give them more time and they can show you their talents and skills. Just, we don't need any sympathy. We only need empathy. Let's not mock these people. It's not fun anymore. It's not funny anymore to see someone suffer and you continue putting a nail on his head. Hakuna kitu ambacho mungu wawezi. Na kitu moja ambayo lazima ukubali ni kujiamini. Amini kuomba una uwezo wa kufanya kila kitu ambacho huyo mtu mwingine ambaye aliumbwa vizuri anaweza kufanya. Na wakati mwingine katika ma maneno yako unapoanza kuyazungumza yanaweza kosa kutoka mara ya kwanza vizuri. Ni kwa sababu pia wewe una uoga wa ndani. Lakini ukikubali, ujikubali kwanza mimi nina hiyo tatizo na usitaogopa kuzungumza mbele ya watu sababu ya tatizo langu, Mungu atakusaidia na kwa maneno yako mwenyewe utajieleza. Peers were talking a bit different and like, like me i'm trying my my best to express what i can do best kennedy kimani hope tv newswatch